Hey, it's Frank here with 40 Honeybee. I'm going to do a mite treatment on my Venus hive here. This hive has been doing really well. It was queenless in mid-June and they made their own queen and she's just been doing gangbusters. The only thing I'm not happy about in this hive right now is that the last couple of inspections, they've been pretty nasty. They come at me right away. Uh, during a mite treatment, they're going to be nasty for sure. Uh, they just don't like it. It works them up. It causes them to beard and want to leave the hive, but you got to do it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up, a, put a new bottom board in. Well, sort of new. See that bottom board right there? That one's appeared in a few of my other videos. I've cleaned it up as much as possible. Try to make sure when you put a bottom board in, when you're doing a mite treatment, that you make it as clean as possible because within a couple of days, you need to come and check that board. You don't need to open up the hive, but check the board and you should see hundreds if not thousands of mites if you have a mite problem like we generally do up here. So um, I'm going to inspect the top box just a little bit just to see what kind of resources they've got because the plan now is treat for mites for a week, then feed for a couple of weeks, then start to winterize, shut them down for winter. So uh, I want to see what resources they've got to have an idea of what or if I need to feed them. And thanks for joining me at 40 Honeybee. Now because this hive has been not so nice the last couple of times, I'm going to definitely smoke it and treat it like a hostile witness. I mean you don't have to over smoke your bees, but and there have been many times this summer where I haven't smoked them at all. But again, just based on the fact that these guys have not been nice. Also, it's been like seven days of bad weather. This is the first decent weather in, in seven days for them to forage. So it could be they got a bit of a bee chip on their shoulders. So let's see. Good number of bees up here. Always check the inner lid to see if the queen might be on here. The queen is spending a lot of time in this upper box in this hive. Uh, she seems to want to lay more brood up here than down below. And so I need to be conscious of that when I check this upper box. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide in this, uh, I'm going to slide in this bottom board right now. See. There we go. Okay, that's in there good. All right, let's see what's going on up here. These bees right now, right off the bat, are much more pleasant than they were last time. Good number of bees up here. Yes, guy. Look at these bees. Wow. It's a good number. Looks like they're on all the frames. Ooh, there's the queen. There's the queen. She's right there. Look at her. She's right here. Look. There she is. Right there. See that? There she is. And I say the queen is never on the lid. Well, there she is. Don't go anywhere, queen. Did you leave this box? Wow. First time ever that I have found the queen on the inner lid. How about a round of applause for me? Okay, now, I want to make sure I don't squish her. Let's see where she's going. And this is a bit of a challenge here because I don't want her to get on this burr comb and then squish her. Okay, Queen, I'm going to set you down. I'm going to keep my eye on her. There she is in a good spot right there. Okay. Set her down. All right. Well, that's exciting. It is. I hate to sound like whatever I sound like, getting so excited over that. I've never seen the queen. I've never seen the queen on the inner lid. I always say to check it. I always say I've never spotted her there. And there you go. Can't say that anymore. All right, so I'm not gonna mess around in that top box anymore. I'm gonna bring it off, and I'm gonna bring it down, and just check a couple resources on the bottom box. But I mean, I, I can see how this queen is doing. She's doing amazing. So I just wanna make sure they got a decent amount of honey down there. She probably, she might even have brood down there as well. And get the mite treatments on and get out of here. 